Are you frightened by the neon shirt or the blazing reddish orange hair? This is actually what is close to my natural hair color. This is my natural hair. <laughs> I'm extensionless for once. No extensions in here, baby. How are you? Boy, I have been going through it. <clears throat> Let me just tell you. I had so much content uploaded for everyone. I had so many great shows. And I couldn't download one. Because... According to this lovely, oh, who was that? According to this lovely $1,100 phone, my storage was full. So let me, I got an iPhone because of the endless storage, and then I filled it up. That was very interesting. So I couldn't do anything, and that's why, you know, I don't love, you know, doing a feed from my um, laptop because it's kind of grainy. But I did. How about that news, huh? Two months. Just waiting on my letter now. Just waiting on my letter now to um, go make my uh, reservation at Johns Hopkins. Very important. Very important date for me. So let's get to what I was talking about. The thing is, I can't remember. I guess first and foremost, I want to um, talk about Free Britney. Did you guys watch the, um, what is it? Um, the Free Britney thing that the New York Times did? I finally saw it, and I I loved it. I mean, I didn't love what she's going through, but wow. Don't look at my nails, by the way. How about that? We got to do something. Poor girl, can you imagine 12 years, going on 13 now? Free Britney, and to all the... You know, fans out there that are in that movement, I kind of am. I try to be. Free Britney, keep it going. I wish I lived in L.A. to, you know, support her. And I, you just know she is, she can't speak about it, but you know she's trying to. And she's, you know, really appreciating her fans. I think she's one of the few celebrities who really probably does like her fans. Let me tell you, a lot of celebrities don't, no matter what they say. I think people like, I think people like Anna Nicole Smith. Probably liked her fans. Um, Brittany. Help me. Who else probably likes their fans? But you gotta realize, just my little foray into, you know, being the webcam diva that I am, fans can be... Well, I appreciate them. I love them. They can be very... Ooh. So, that part. I can't really think of anyone else that may actually like their fans. So I digress. A lot of YouTube con a lot of YouTube shows I've been watching. D'Angelo Wallace, mm, check him out. Um, Peter Mon, my favorite, my favorite Peter Mon. Trisha Paytas. What is the problem with you guys and Trisha Paytas? I have watched tons of shows with her, and I don't get why so many people have problems with what she does. She is a valley girl who talks fast. Trisha, if you're watching this, and I know you're not, I'm your friend. Forget what everyone says. Who cares? She's a sensitive girl, and you guys can just be so brutal to her. She's beautiful, too. I don't know. I like her. I like what she says, for the most part, and if I do disagree with something... So I disagree. Does that mean we can't be friends? No. I'm not sure where this comes from that friends have to agree with everything the other one thinks or believes in. Because you don't. Republicans and Democrats can be friends. There seems to be an issue now that people are like, no, they can't. Yes, they can. Just because... You believe in something politically doesn't mean I have to. And not all Republicans are racist. I know lots of Republicans who aren't. No, I'm not one. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> so what else do we have to talk about? 
Oh, this is really good. This is really good coming up. Stay tuned. You know, in explaining everything about what went on when I was going through the drama with my landlord, I kind of made myself out to be like the Crystal Carrington of the situation. Crystal was a character in the 1980s super soap opera dynasty. Then there was the evil Alexis. Which character do you think I am? The loving, doleful, devoted wife, Crystal? Or the evil, maniacal, disruptive Alexis? Take a look. Child, and you couldn't stand that, could you? Oh, no, you're jealous because Valens had her baby, and that's made you even more paranoid. Well, I didn't cause your accident, Crystal, just as I didn't cause your barrenness. So which one do you think I am? I think in this case, I was probably Alexis. I was paranoid, you know, my unemployment had abruptly stopped and just things weren't good. And though things aren't significantly better, they're on the up and up, so. But, you know, everything's cool and they're working with me now. But you know, I'm really not like Crystal or Alexis, I'm more like the spoiled, bratty daughter, Fallon, the original Fallon. Take a look. Fast. I happen to be the fastest dresser in the Rockies. We have a good half hour here. I've got my makeup on. You can fix your makeup. Well, come on, Jeff. We're going to a party, and it's a party for your uncle. And he wouldn't mind. Believe me. In fact, I think he'd even prefer it if you and I stayed here a while. Come on, Jeff. I don't want to disappoint anybody, including myself. It's an important night. We're expected to be there. An important night for who? My uncle? Your father? Let's not start that again. I thought you were going to take that up directly with them. I have, at least with one of them. What about the other? I'll get to that. Meanwhile, uh, tell me something. Why did you marry me? Well, I could have done worse. You're pretty good looking. So are a lot of guys. You're rich. I'm not as rich as you. What can I tell you, Jeff? You're kind to orphans. I asked you a question, Fallon. Why did you marry me? Will you stop being dumb, Jeff, and get dressed? You don't have the nerve to tell me, do you? don't I? No, you don't. Okay, Charlie, here it is. I married you because I made a deal with the devil. Wish to God I had it. What kind of deal? Nothing, forget it. I said what kind of deal? Let go of me. What kind of deal? You disgust me, you really do. Ooh, and he pulls the hair. Boop. Mm-mm-mm. You guys heard of Andre Marhold? Andre Marhold? I have sent him numerous um, messages on Twitter trying to get him to be a guest on the show. Andre, come on, babe. Come on. We can do anything in our interview. I don't even want to talk about Jeffree Star in the interview. I want to talk about you. How you went from basketball to OnlyFans and just, you know, about your life. I think people are interested in you. They're really tired of this Jeffree Star stuff. So come on and do my show. It'd be worth it. Congratulations to the Go-Go's who have been nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It'd be so awesome if they got it. And they sure do deserve it. The number one 
all-American female band and the only American band to ever have a number one album. The Bengals did not have a number one album. The Runaways, I don't even think, charted very high. It's the Go-Go's. They should get this. Great role models for women. And so here's something. Kathy Valentine. She is the bassist for the Go-Go's. And she has an amazing book called All I Ever Wanted. Do you know where All I Ever Wanted came from? Mm -hmm. Vacation, All I Ever Wanted. Kathy wrote that song. She's also done a great reworking of the song Beneath the Blue Sky from the 1984 album talk show she wrote with Jane Wigland. She and her daughter, Audrey, have a great version with reworked lyrics. And that's this little snippet you hear at the beginning of this um, show. Kathy, I would love to get you as a guest. And I'll do anything. 15 minutes, 20 minutes just to get you on a live feed. Please, please say yes. I love the book. I love All I Ever Wanted. It means so much to me. I would love to have you as a guest. So I'm trying, you guys. Upcoming guests include my friend, confidant, and unofficial, official moderator, Nadia Neem, Ricky Gioni, and Francis. Those are coming up in live feeds whenever I'm out of Facebook jail. So I'll see you soon. I'll have some new content, more new content posted this weekend. In the meantime, it's Friday night. Go put your red extensions in and go out and get you some. Boop. Oh, in honor of the Go-Go's. Go put your rhinestone earrings in and your black stockings and high heels. Go out and get you some.